Timothy Brown, who would become known as the Berlin patient, had been living with HIV for 10 years. He was using antiretroviral therapy and had the virus under control. But then he began to feel unwell and his doctors delivered a second devastating diagnosis. He said, I have bad news for you. You have acute myeloid le leukemia. And I'm like, oh, crap. And uh, I was in shock. Due to their more vulnerable immune system, this type of leukemia is usually a death sentence for people with HIV. He explained to me that there was a chance that they'd have to do a bone marrow transplant. And at that point, I'm like, OK, I guess I'll have to go through this in order to live. Initially, Timothy's doctors hoped the bone marrow transplant would rid his body of cancer. But then they devised a radical plan so that it might also cure his HIV. Some very clever uh, physician scientists said, aha, you know, we're going to give some special bone marrow. The immune cells that fight disease come from our bone marrow. Timothy's doctors found a donor who had a rare gene they hoped would protect Timothy from HIV. This was based on the discovery that one in every hundred people of European descent is resistant to HIV. And that is because about 1% of the population lack a protein called CCR5 that HIV needs to enter a cell. And it was discovered back in the US in the early 90s when it was clear that there were certain gay men that were at very high risk of HIV, but they never got infected. People with this mutation are known as elite controllers. By transplanting donor cells that had a faulty CCR5 receptor, Timothy's doctors hoped he would produce his own immune cells that were resistant to HIV. Timothy stopped antiretroviral therapy shortly after receiving that transplant. Usually, the virus will rebound in someone's blood within about two to three weeks. But three months later, there were no detectable viruses in his body. For the next 12 years, he was effectively cured of HIV. There are 34 million people in the world with HIV, and it's hard to believe that I'm the first person to be cured. But in 2020, Timothy's leukemia returned. And after a five-month battle, he died. Timothy's bravery inspired doctors, scientists, and people living with HIV around the world. 